packed all our stuff inside the boats and inflated them. We're about to go on our first pack rafting trip. <laughs> Careful those waves, boys! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Good start, Thor! <laughs> So this is a multi-sport expedition. <laughs> Combining paddling, which I grew up doing, and climbing, which is what I'm obsessed with now. I've been climbing since I was seven. Those are mountains that have just like lived inside my mind for a long time. I invited Zach and Thor on this trip. We've been friends since preschool. We grew up together. Yes! That's it guys, you're doing great. We're so tired. <laughs> this group is just the perfect team to do something like this with. We just have so much fun together. I got a little, a little something for Thor. Where's that eating Thor? <laughs> made a policy if Ron would ask me to go along with something, like just say yes, because it's usually a good idea. <laughs> so when she was like, come to Baffin Island for six weeks. Yes. The plan for the trip was to leave Pinerton by Packraft, paddle to the mouth of the Weasel River. We then hike up to Summit Lake and try to climb Mount Asgard. After Asgard, we would paddle down the Weasel River, running some sweet whitewater, and trying to climb Mount Thor and hopefully some other peaks along the way. So the trip would be entirely self-propelled, starting and finishing in Pangerton. Just the ideal expedition. We have a lot of stuff on this fast and light expedition. <laughs> this works really good. I just walked straight through it. Oh, <laughs> oh Zachy. <laughs> so this is the line of the Arctic Circle. In the Arctic? Not in the Arctic. Arctic? Not Arctic. Keep going, keep Arctic. going. Keep going. <laughs> Not Arctic. 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 It's a big, scary place here on Baffin Island. Just everything's on a huge scale. The weather can change really, really fast. So yeah, I was nervous, especially coming out here with my wife, Bronwyn. I think watching her do sketchy stuff is even worse for me than doing sketchy stuff myself. The mountains are complicated. Tonight, we'll sleep well and eat hearty. Because in the morning, we're going up Asgard. Da -da -da. We split into two teams, so Zach and Thor were headed up the North Tower of Asgard, and Jacob and I were headed up the South Tower. That's where we're headed. We got about one pitch up, and we were like, we should go that other way. That crack over there looks really cool. Nice. Oh. We're gonna do a new route. Yeah, new, new route. route. <laughs> There's Zach way up there. First pitch. <laughs> And Ron and Jake are on the other Asgard. So you got it. I first met Bronwyn through the Leeds University Climbing Club in England. She was an exchange student from Canada. She was a total beginner rock climber. Uh, he was a really strong climber and always just wanted to be out doing things together. Taking her on a whole bunch of just like outrageous adventures where she got really tired and really scared seemed to be a good route uh, to her heart. <laughs> uh, we're still adventuring all over the world together. We got married last year and now we're in Baffin Island to climb some big mountains. Scooter! <laughs> okay.
Kelly. Yeehaw! Oh, nice work. That was really cool. That might be the best crack I've ever done the first ascent of. That was insane. Yeah, so cool. Glad we took the detour. It's getting really cold now. It's like 10 at night. At least it's not going to get dark. I'm getting tired. Hans just seconding the last icy chimney. Yay! So it of us guys. Give me a hug. <laughs> and we did a new route. <laughs> We're on top of Mount Asgard. past midnight right now. Sunrise! We named the route Never Laugh at Live Dragons, which is a quote from The Hobbit. That's kind of how I feel about climbing on Mount Asgard. It's like this big, scary beast. And I almost feel like we got in there and climbed it and then snuck away without it noticing us. That's uh, the way I like to go about these things. So Ron, this was your first, first yeah. ascent? Yeah! Oh, nice! Mm. Oh, that's good! <laughs> How do you know that it's not just gonna blank out? I didn't. I, I was just kept thinking like, this might just like not go, and then I'm just gonna have to bail, and that's gonna suck. It <laughs> sounds like a day at the Craig. Was this all you were expecting? The weather was sort of too perfect. Well, me and Thor were looking at those lenticular clouds and freaking out. They were and you so and far away. You Nothing and was happening. You were yeah. right over were right here. And all right. around. I every direction like, I don't know lenticular. what a lenticular cloud is. <laughs> they all look like Wi-Fi symbols. <laughs> <laughs> They're so pretty. <laughs> Good morning, Zuggy. Good morning. What are we doing? <laughs> the plan is to go climbing. <laughs> Oh yeah, there she is. Zach and I are complete gumbies and don't know what we're doing out here. After climbing Mount Asgard in like more than 20 hours, I thought it would be a good idea to climb something closer to camp. Right at the base of Asgard, there's a small cliff. And there's no roots going up it. Zach and I thought it'd be fun to quest up that. Thor's dabbled in first ascent territory and I have zero concept of like what that process looks like. Zachy and I are here for everyone who climbs 5'9 back at home and wishes they could do it in the Alpine. We'll tell you how it goes. No! First pitch! Ron and I decided to try the Scott route, which is this huge 900 meter east buttress of the North Tower of Mount Asgard, which we just raged up. Just did like a 250 meter simul block. Ooh. That's huge. Long pitch. Look at this corner. Look how nice that looks. That went nowhere. Oh, we went up and we lowered back down. We'll have you behind us. Isn't that sick? And we can see a little fluorescent dot, but that's Jake and Braun climbing the Scott route. arrived at the crux of the route. Soaking wet. I spotted this crack out to the right, which turned out to be this perfect 511 splitter. Yes. Which is so cool. Ugh, really cool. Hard. Hi. Good job. You've been to the top of both towers of Mount Asgard. Yeah. I'm really tired. Yeah. That was a battle. You guys almost at the top? I can't see the top yet. Yeah, they're still going. We 
they're back, but Zack and Thor are somewhere up on that face. They've been gone for a long time. A little bit worried about them. Oh, Zacky. Ooh. It's been a time. In fact, the time is, has been a lot. Very much of it has passed. <laughs> <laughs> now, how the hell do we get off this thing? Yeah, that's the next question. First, take your rope. Can you give it a good toss? Pretty soon, it's gonna be 24 hours we've been sitting in these harnesses. Zach's nervous because all his weight right now is on this single peanut. We're off this mountain. We put up a first ascent. 26 hour fully free climb on site, ground up, first ascent. That's for the climbing nerds. I was just starting to get worried about you guys. Yeah. How long have you guys been going? <laughs> 26 <laughs> hours? Right 27 now. hours now? My hands hurt so much. It doesn't look bad, but they... It looks bad, dude. Your face looks all swollen, too. Oh, I got that swollen face. It's real. <laughs> Matt is Mount Zaki. <laughs> we thought it was a state of mind and a lifestyle. Turns out it's just it's, over there. It's just right here. <laughs> After climbing Mount Asgard twice, we were completely exhausted. We decided to spend a few days at Summit Lake to rest. Hello, YouTubes. Welcome to today's Summit Lake workout video. This is a massive ball of cheese. First up, cheese ball crunches. One. Twenty-eight. What the hell? One more. Come on, push that cheese into the ground. feeling pretty nervous to start the paddling portion of the trip. Yeah. Luckily we have Bronwyn who's got years of experience as a river guide. There was a pretty high chance that one of our boats would flip, but I was confident that we could make it down safely. Desperately didn't want to lose the boat. It had all our gear, all our food. I think it'll probably I thought it was gonna be easy to stay in these boats, but it's not. Oh my god, what are we doing here? <laughs> so, coming on this trip with our friend named Thor, the obvious goal was to climb Mount Thor with Thor. <laughs> yep, yep, okay, good, go. set off. We did one front ferry across the Weasel River, which we were all a little nervous about. No. Okay. <laughs> you 
guys like just like look epic. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Any day now! Yeah. Oh. How do you feel about your uh, comparative horn sizes? <laughs> <laughs> Mine are still growing. They said it'd be a 5'8 ridge and Bron scopes a splitter. <laughs> she said, Ron, if you want to go up anywhere, I'll just come along behind you. Woo! Climbing Mount Thor! Yeah. Well, so Bron and Thor set off up their crack. Me and Zaki have just been raging up this nice, easy corner system. You know what we're doing right now, Zaki? Raging? That's right! I definitely feel lucky in that I'm like generally <laughs> the least experienced. There's very little responsibility and so much to learn. When Simo climbed up this knife edge ridge. To be doing that with all four of us was really, really special. The drop off is just off to your left side. About 30 centimeters. Time? We must have got it. We got it a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> the mountains here are just huge. Just the scale of them takes so long to go up and down. Oh my goodness. Dude, it's not that hard. Not that hard. Six hours from now, we'll be home. <laughs> Hope they don't jump. <laughs> Did you guys bring your flamingo bangers? Words, Zaki. Here we go.
was absolutely wild. Yeah. You didn't dunk. That was so much fun. Yeah. Good morning, YouTubes! Here we are at base camp. What's going on? We're gonna, We're gonna climb line. the mountain! <laughs> So we wanted to climb a new route up the west face of Mount Taroqua. As a team of four and big wall style, so we'd be spending two nights on the wall. It looks pretty blank. <laughs> Jacob is off up the wall. Definitely top five loosest pitches of all time. And here's my sketchy belay. We've got some sideways nuts, and it's all nicely equalized. Oh no, wait, I drilled a ball. Oh, thank God for that. It's really bad rock. Oh. Food and water for four people for three days was pretty heavy. It's all coming back to me now. All the reasons why I left big wall climbing. <laughs> The climbing was really run out and really loose. We've managed to course shot our rope already. Oh shit. I just knocked a huge block on top of Zach and Thor. It's super scary. This is chassis as fuck! This is chassis and not safe. Climbing's been Really scary. Really bad rock. I'm gonna go home now. I'm gonna sit in the coffee shop and do some mathematics. <laughs> we decided to come down. Just ended up feeling like maybe this this isn't worth it. I'm feeling like a maybe a little bit burnt out on risking my life and my friends' lives and my wife's life climbing big scary mountains, and that's okay. And then we set off down the river with not really too much idea what we were gonna do. I was trying to think of some good metaphors for riding a flamingo down the weasel, but there's no words. Video. <laughs> this is the last day on the Weasel River. I think we're done the rapids. We're just riding the current out to the ocean. I was hoping to find some harder climbing somewhere on the trip and put up a slightly harder first ascent. That hadn't happened yet. And that seemed to not be a thing that was probably going to happen. We ended up camping underneath Mount Ulu. As soon as we came around the bend of the river, the whole group psych just changed. Thor and Zaki set off to try the south face of Mount Ulu, which we couldn't even see from camp, so that was a bold move on their part. And Bronwyn and I set off right. to try the north face of Mount Ulu. We have no information about any rock climbs on this face. One team is going up the slabs on the back, and one team is going up the sheer face on the other side. Change of plan. There's another cliff that has a sweet looking tower with some mega splitters up it. What are you awesome. calling it? Mount Jabroni! <laughs> like Jacob Broadman? No, 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 no. It's not Mount Jabroni. <laughs> Anything but Mount Jabroni. <laughs> Beginning of pitch one. Looks pretty sweet. Oh, 
that ditch was very mossy. And there's the splitters that we're aiming for. Where are we gonna go now? Nice. Really cool. It's the first of August today, which means we're starting to lose the midnight sun. Let's yeah. stop at the next ledge. Yeah. Next stance. Cool. Okay. That's it. Laying my bed for the night. I see a star, the first star, it's August 1st. <laughs> you see it? Morning, Jacob. Morning. <laughs> we were alpine style. We only had the two days on the wall. I really only had that one day to try those pitches. I really like it here. Even if we bail, I'm stoked we just stepped in. Well, the crack that we spotted from the ground turns out to be a beak seam. I've just been questing up it, placing a whole bunch of sketchy pro. Ah! Nice, Brown. That's it. Yes. Come on. I have no idea if we're going to make it to the top. This crack is so thin. <laughs> it's quite hard. It is going to be quite hard. <laughs> All right, let's give it a go. Yeah. Jacob sets off at the next bit. The crack got thinner and thinner. Here we go. Foothold's out right. Left, sorry. Wow! It's like 512 plus splitter crack climbing. <gasps> And there's another like 20 meters of really thin stuff that looks super hard that I'm going to try now. Sometimes when you are just filming each other, you can't actually get the camera out. Jacob's just taken two falls and he's decided to do some scrubbing and ticking and get it all ready for the send. The reality is it was just him and I up there and I was the lamb, so there's no footage of that. But it was cool. You have to take my word for it. Sent the splitter pitch. Woo! Yes. Wow, this route is crazy. I can't believe we found this. <laughs> yeah, that was so cool. <laughs> really hard. But what a crack. That was nuts. Yeah, like seriously, really, really good job. That was super crazy. It was quite challenging. <laughs> We're almost at the top of our tower, but we're just having a break. I'm really tired. It's all been pretty intense. And then suddenly, just on the horizon line. Ah! Woo! Yeah. Beach whale route! <laughs> That's them on top of Ulu. Wait, did he free the beak pitch? Yeah, there's one pitch that he red-pointed. A bunch of 5 blow, and then now this one 5-13. How are you doing? was fun. Some scary slab. Scary crack. It felt really nice to have other people out there in the mountains with us. I guess this is our last Baffin Island summit. Until next Baffin Island trip. <laughs> Baffin Island, it's good? Awesome. Yeah? Would recommend to a friend. I enjoy a uh, human powered adventure. I like feeling a sense of place in a landscape. I really have a sense of just how remote it is out here. 
makes it more of a kind of meaningful adventure for me. We opted for the night shift because there's less wind. To the sea! <laughs> to, the ah, to the open sea! of our trip right there. Yeah. <laughs> Don't fall out of the boat. Yahoo! Our welcome team is here. Yeah, I need a paddle. Hey! It's the average Monday night in Pang. <laughs> It's the end of the trip. And the last thing to do is to take some kids from Pangnatung rock climbing.